Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to do an in-depth review of this iFlight Zinc Unibel 2207-1800 kV DC brush test motor guys. As you know guys, I will be using this motor onto my FPV racing drone guys. So this motor has high torque, high power and can be operated from 6S battery. Apart from unboxing guys, I will also be telling you what are the technical functions and features which this motor has to offer. And towards the end of the video guys, I will also be telling you how to connect this motor onto your flight controller. So ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So guys before we can go through some of the technical features and functions which this motor has to offer let's quickly unbox this and see the contents inside. So whenever you purchase this iFlight 2207 1800 kV Zinc Unibel motor guys this comes in this transparent packaging with iFlight branding onto the top and here you can see you have a branding on the packaging as well. So this is made by iFlight. There is nothing more on the top of the box guys other than this barcode and the labeling onto the back. So let's quickly open this and see the contents inside. As you know guys these motors are used for quadcopter guys so it comes in the pair of four motor guys. So here you can see you have four identical motors which is available here in this packaging guys. So if you are building any octacopter or any other type of drone which requires more motor guys so you need to order another pair. As you know guys these are all identical motors so I will keep the three motors aside and see one of the motors. So as you can see guys whenever you purchase this motor it comes in this black box. Onto the top of the box there is a branding of Zing series advanced power system guys onto the side it is zinc series 2207 1800 kV motor guys as I told you guys this is less than 2000 kV guys so this can be powered up using 6s battery as per the technical specification goes which is mentioned by iFlight it can be powered using 4s battery to 6s battery so which is also something really nice on to the other side guys it has iFlight branding on to the other side guys it has website of the iFlight Instagram and Facebook link on to the back side guys you have QR codes for the Instagram, Facebook and WeChat if you want you can go through it. So there is nothing more on to the top side of the box. Let's quickly open the box and see the contents inside. So whenever you open the box guys it comes with foam padding onto the top so as to protect it from damage and shock and then it comes with this packaging here for the nuts and the propeller holder that it came with so that is what you have and then inside the box guys as you can see your motor is well protected using this foam packaging that it came with so as to prevent it from any damage from the shock or scratches so guys let's take out the motor so here inside the box guys as you can see does not come with any user manual or instruction manual guys but I will be in this video telling you how to install this motor and what are the technical features and functions which this motor has to offer. So ensure that guys you watch this video till the end. Since there is nothing more inside the box let's keep the box aside. So here you can see guys it comes with two components only your motor and the mounting screws. Let's quickly open the mounting screws and see the contents inside. So as you can see guys in this transparent packaging it comes with this four m3 mounting screws guys so ensure that guys whenever you buy this motor you ensure that your drone frame is compatible with m3 mounting holes so as to be able to mount this motor correctly onto your drone frame guys so as you can see it comes with four mounting screws so as to be able to mount this motor onto your drone frame and then there is an additional propeller holder nut that came along with so as to be able to install propeller onto the shaft of the motor guys here onto the motor guys you can see there is a shaft and the threading so this propeller holder nut goes on to the top like this so as to be able to hold the propeller right on to the top side shaft of the motor guys so that is what it is used for guys now let's see the motor itself here you can see guys this motor is made completely out of metal it is well built and sturdily built this is a zinc series motor made by iFlight this is 2207 guys what that means is 22 is the width and 7 is the height which is used for calculating the volume of the stator guys which in turn is proportional to the speed of the motor and to the torque of the motor. In addition to that guys it has a power rating of 1800 kV so in a minute guys I will also be telling you what does that mean and how can this information be useful to calculate the torque speed and power of the motor guys. As you can see guys here onto the back side you have M3 mounting holes there are four holes onto the back guys so whenever you buy this 
motor for your drone frame your drone frame has m3 screw holes so as to be able to mount this motor on to the top side of your drone frame guys so that is what it is used for as you can see guys it comes with three wires so it requires a three phase supply so as to be able to control the direction and speed of the motor guys which will be in turn controlled by your ESC and your flight controller so that is what it is used for guys so that is it guys that is what you have as per the physical specification goes now let's quickly see the technical specifications and functions which this has to offer so guys as per the technical specification goes we have seen these three numbers on the motor so motor says it was 2207 1800 kV and 6s was the operating voltage at which you can operate this motor guys so here 2207 as you know guys relates to the torque of the motor 1800 kV relates to the RPM of the motor and 6s as you know guys is the rating of the motor so guys let me explain you how 2207 1800 kV and 6s corresponds to each of these three values so let me show you here so as you can see here torque of the motor is directly proportional to the stator volume so here as i told you before guys to calculate the volume you have to multiply width and height this is basically an area guys but this is a proportional volume as well so here you can see whenever you multiply 22 which is your width of the motor and 07 which is the height of the motor you get a value of 154 so which is your proportional stator volume which in turn is directly proportional to the torque individually this number means nothing guys but with this number guys you will be able to say whether a given motor has a higher torque than other motor or not so you will be able to compare the motor and also guys higher the value better is the torque torque is nothing more than the load bearing capacity of the drone so higher the torque guys higher weight of the drone that you can lift along with the accessories that you have mounted onto the drone so that is what it corresponds to which is why i told you guys higher the torque higher is the load bearing capacity so that is what torque means and this is how you calculate the torque now the next parameter is your rating guys so as you can see guys here you can operate this motor using the 6s battery so as you know 1s battery corresponds to 4.2 volts so 6s battery will be 6 times of 4.2 volt which is 25.2 volts so what does that mean so as you know guys every esc that you have on your drone has a current rating and every motor that you have has a wattage wattage is nothing more than your voltage multiplied by the current so guys if you are able to operate your motors at higher voltage for a given voltage you will be using less current and less will be the load on the esc and lower the current guys there will be lower heat generation in the motor as well so it is always recommended to use a higher voltage rating motor than lower voltage rating motor so that it requires lesser current to be able to generate a given power guys so here you can see it is operating at highest possible voltage available as of now in the market which is 6s so whenever you operate this motor with 6s voltage guys you will be needing lesser current to reach to an optimal voltage or power so that is also something really nice so the third thing that you have here is the rpm rpm here is calculated by multiplying your 1800 kv with the battery voltage so here it is 1800 multiplied by 6s which is nothing more than 1800 multiplied by 25.2 which comes out to be 45360 this is the rounds per minute of your motor guys at no load what does that mean is you have powered on the motor without the propellers so it is resting on the ground and your motor is just running so without the load or without the propeller guys your motor runs at 45 360 rpms per minute so what does that rpm mean so rpm basically is your speed response or the response or handling of your drone like torque is your parameter to understand or the load bearing capacity of the drone rpm is basically the speed of the drone higher the rpm higher will be the response time and higher will be the speed of the drone guys so guys higher the torque better is the load bearing capacity higher the rpm Higher is the speed and the response of the drone so that is what it means so like everything guys there are a few exceptions to these rules guys so as you can see here so wider the motor guys you will have higher torque because of the higher stator volume 
at the same time guys since your motor is wider the load distribution is farther away from the shaft of the motor guys which is why it will have higher inertia so whenever you have wider motor guys whenever you have a change in the rpm that you have requested it will take some time to slow down the motor or change the speed of the motor because of the inertial volume which is distributed away from the shaft so thinner motor guys will normally respond faster than the wider motor but then guys here you have the conflict wider the motor guys higher is the surface area and better is the heat dissipation capacity so as you know whenever the motor runs at higher speed it's going to draw more current so it will get hot so guys it needs an air or surface area so as to be able to distribute and dissipate the heat so that your motor does not get overheated or does not get damaged so you see guys if you have larger surface area you have higher rating of the motor and you can have more power with this guys you will have larger surface area but you will have lower response to rpm change so you will have to always find a balance between the volume of the straighter and the response time of your motor so that is something that you need to consider so as i told you guys higher is the kv value higher is the rpm at higher rpm it's going to draw more current in addition to discharging your battery faster guys it will also generate more heat so you would need a wider surface area to be able to compensate for the heat so that it gets dissipated so that is something that you need to always consider and the last one guys as you know lower the rpm higher is the torque so there is a trade-off between the rpm and the torque as well as i have told you guys higher the torque higher is the load bearing capacity higher the rpm higher is the speed you need both of them to be higher but it cannot be at the same time as you would have noticed guys whenever you have higher load guys the rpm of the motor gets reduced so as to generate more power so as to be able to lift more weight so there is a trade-off so higher the rpm guys you will have lower torque and whenever you increase the load guys the rpm gets reduced so whenever you design the drone guys it is always good to consider to have three to one ratio between the torque to weight or optimally it could be five is to one so as you can see guys whenever you buy a motor guys you need to consider all these specifications so that these are all in balance so as to give you ample of torque ample of rpm and enough surface area so as to be able to dissipate the heat which is generated by the motor during the operation so it is important guys to select an optimal motor for the drone depending upon the load that you have or the size of the drone that you're building so these are the technical specification guys now let's quickly see how to connect the motor on to the esc so here as a general rule any drone would normally have an esc which is this this is called your esc or motor control unit which basically is connected to your motor the three phase motor that you normally have the three wires coming in is normally connected onto your esc which will then depending upon your flight condition will be able to deliver the power to each of the motor and also controls the direction of the motor using the control wires that is coming to this motor control unit from your flight controller so you will normally have six pads on each side for a quadcopter which will be marked from m1 m2 m3 and m4 so you will be connecting three wires for each motor to this motor control unit and this is how your wiring will go but then ensure that guys you connect these motors in the right sequence and i'm going to tell you what does that mean so here you see when your drone is facing front your esc is placed like this the there are motor numbers you see here motor one two three and four which is also marked here on your ESC ensure that guys your motor 2 is your front side right motor so here you can see the left and the right direction the right motor on the front side is M2 right motor on the back side is M1 left motor on the front side is M4 and left motor on the back side is M3 
So although guys in all modern flight controllers you can change this sequence you can change the direction of the rotation of the motor in the program but if you do this in this way in the correct way you will have lesser configuration to do in your flight controller to be able to operate it in a correct so there is no right and wrong you can always connect these motor in any sequence as you like as long as your flight controller has a capability to reorganize the motor and then arrange them in a correct way so that your flight controller knows which motor is connected at which place so that it can properly operate the drone so guys this is it this is how you connect your motor to your esc and this is a brief description on how to select the motor and what kind of technical specifications that you have on the motor so i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies